Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Victoria and my daddy. How are you doing? So we thought what we would do is we've been on Twitter talking a lot about the Rangers and with different Rangers fans, and we've been having some pretty good chats so far. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying them. It gives me something to do with my day, actually. And Victoria came up with an idea and said, why don't you show some of your Rangers collectibles? Because there's so many yeah. really, really cool things. Let people see them and see what they think. So we decided what we would do is we would start off with some scarves. Mm -hmm. uh, way Which back way? from a long while ago. So uh, I think first of all I'm going to show you this one. This one here is my original scarf which is dated back to 1966 which makes it 51 years old and if you look at it right in there you'll see it still has the numbers on it when we win the league and the league cup but Victoria's going to take a picture on it so if anybody's interested in looking at the dates they're all there I know my eyesight's not that Great, but I'm going to see what I can see on here. I've got the League Cup 19 1949. Yeah, it looks like 47, 49, 61, 62, and 64. Hmm. And it looks like the League 1949, 50. Uh, These ones at the bottom. Yeah, that's the League Cup 1986. 1964, 63, 62, 60, and maybe, anyway, I could look them up online, but you can do that, it gives you something to do, but that's a little really little old, old scarf. Okay, let's bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see it there. It is quite faded. <laughs> this is one that you don't want to put in the wash. No. It will disappear. No. Never. It's a collector's item. Yeah, right? no. Yeah. So as Victoria says, how long have you been following Rangers? This is 58 years. That's quite a, lot, a long time. Uh, it is. Probably a lot of you people wouldn't even been born then. <laughs> so it makes surprised. me feel old. Yeah. No. And when I flew to Manchester for the. Um, yeah, for cup final, this was a shirt I wore on the plane. So 2008. Can, yeah. Still fits you. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Imagine yeah. that. Well, we were kind of big in the chest, straight enough, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the next one I'm going to show you is this little baby here. Now you'll see in that one, uh, it says on there Isle of Scotland and the Scotland badge below and the Rangers badge at the top. In those days, uh, the Rangers, the biggest support that Scotland had was Rangers fans. Uh, they went into Section J and Section H at Hamden Park. And if you're a Celtic fan, you went to the exact opposite end, which wasn't covered, which meant they got soaked at every game, and we didn't. And they wouldn't, they wouldn't, <laughs> they wouldn't come into Section J and H because it was all full of Rangers men. Uh, unfortunately, things have changed a bit because uh, some idiots uh, think that Rangers supporters all support England, where quite a few of them still support Scotland. But uh, they don't put badges like that on their, um, their scarves anymore. In those days they did. And uh, as I say, it was happy days then. Now it's slightly different. I don't even go to a Scotland game now. I've still got my Scotland travel card. And I've still got my Rangers travel card, which I could probably let you see as well. I'll do that in a different video. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is dated 1973. 
that's this one. We can start from the top down. As you can see, the badges are all still sewing on. Uh, Victoria will push them up a little bit at a time. Uh, and that particular scarf was covered in metal pins and badges. To, well, I've still got quite a lot of them. A lot of them are missing now, but I've, I've still got quite a lot. And I'll show you them one day as well. So it just lets you see all the dates and that one there. But yeah, that was the one I used to. This was this was my favourite scarf. That one, uh, as I say, it was all covered in pins, Rangers pins, and those the pins that you got behind you. Yeah, uh, different, dated way back a long time. And as I say, I wore that to most games, and that is uh, dated 1973, and it goes from Scottish Cup winners 49, 50, 53. Oh, there you go. That matches the the one over here. Uh, 1960, 62, 63, 64 and 66. Um, we don't talk about 66 much because I think it was a, someone won the World Cup then or something like that so we don't mention that one too much. We win the league, that was the most important thing. Uh, we win the Scottish League Cup on 47, 49, 61, 62, 64 and 70. And in 1973, Scottish Cup winners, so that's a really nice one. Uh, out of the three of them, my first one will always be my first one, but my favourite win was the third one. Did uh, people have to hand sew on every uh -huh. one of these badges? Oh, did you do it? I did it. I did it myself. You did it? Yeah, I'm quite oh, clever that way. <laughs> look at you. Up the Rangers there. Eh? Look at that. Let's yeah. just appreciate that hard craftsmanship there. Yeah. Dad, if you failed at other things, you could have went into sewing. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the last one uh, I'm going to show you here is... Uh, it's one that I received at hospitality. I went to Ibrox for about 20 years nearly in hospitality. Uh, I used to go to the Bob Field Suite quite often. Uh, it's now known as the Chairman's Club and uh, we would go to cup finals we yeah. would travel with the team you know they would go in the first yeah. bus and then we would follow in the other buses and then go back to the ibrox after it for a, a little party so one of the gifts they gave you uh, was a football scarf um, and if you look at it closely it says on it scottish finalist 91-92 Scottish Cup finalist so you got that before you went to the game as you can see right there I'll turn that a bit and it's the Rangers starting and if I remember correctly um, uh, my wife got a, I think she got a like a towel or something to cover her legs and a perfume spray or something like that. A towel? Uh, yeah, a towel. You know, a blanket type thing oh, to cover blanket. her legs. That's yeah. what they yeah, towel, well, towel. for the blanket. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, Scottish finalist, 91-92, Scottish Cup finalist. And of course after it was by we went all, all went back to Ibrox for a wee party and uh, left there about, you know, 7 o'clock at night or something like that. And, uh, Quite a lot of times they went to Victoria's nightclub in Not mine. Glasgow's. And, uh, it, was a, anyway, it was a big nightclub in the centre of Glasgow. A lot of players used to go there. Is that where uh, I got my name from? No. no, no. <laughs> uh, it was well known hangout for Rangers players after cup finals and things like that. Uh, a lot of fat cats used to go there in suits after the games. That's what they called them, suits and fat cats. <laughs> the fat cats had loads of dough and the suits followed on, that was a suit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, as I say, uh, uh, it's a wee start and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out some other stuff uh, that I collected that are interesting and I'm going to let you see them. Mm -hmm.
Uh, I've got a few shirts lying through the back as well. Uh, this shirt. It's my uh, favourite one. My favourite one. This one I got before I left to go to Canada. And the it's tag still, is the tag still on it. it. And it's dated 2005. I'll bring this in to try and show you. So. Hold on. I don't know how well you can see the signatures on it. I think you need to stand up under the light for that. We'll show this one in another video and, yeah. and talk about them. Who's the one person that you know has signed this shirt? Nacho Novo. Mm -hmm. Nacho Novo, that was one of your favourite players. You know why he was my favourite player? Because he always scored. Every time that they would put him on, I'd be like, you know what, that's it, he's going to score. Put him on, he's going to score. Well, he scored a very famous penalty. Mm -hmm. And it was the very last one to take us to uh, Manchester, where uh, that was quite the journey. I was in, working up in the Rocky Mountains in Canada at that time, and so uh, I had to drive so from one end of the Rockies to the other end to get to Calgary Airport, and then I had to fly from Calgary Airport to Manchester, and then I had to get a flight from Manchester to Glasgow uh, to catch the game. Uh, <laughs> that's what that's yeah. what commitment is called. <laughs> when you travel from the middle of the Rocky Mountains, yeah. seven hours down. Yeah. And yeah. Then another <laughs> eight or nine hours on a flight, and then another flight after that, just to <laughs> yeah. get up to get to the game. I remember my brother picked me up at the at the airport so that I could get to the game in time, and then <laughs> head to the air where I met my pals in air, and um, after that. Uh, we decided we would drive to Manchester. There was four or five of us went down the vehicle and got to Manchester and had a ball and then flew back the next day to Canada and the same journey again. So it was quite the trip but well worth it. Do you have any like funny stories from that trip that you can say? It wasn't funny but uh, one of my pals was a policeman and somebody dipped his wallet and took his wallet and all his money and his card and stuff <laughs> like that. You Uncle Gus? No, no, Bobby Bell. Oh. So. <laughs> anyway, it's a shame, but That's anyway. That's so sad. Yeah, we've had a good time. We're in that yeah, square for a long time. And everybody was partying. There was no trouble anywhere round about us, even going to the game and coming back after it. There was never a bit of trouble at all. The only unfortunate incident was when the TV screens went down. It caused a few issues, and I think there was out of 250,000 fans, there was I don't know, 29 or S or something like that, but, mm. or 19, something like that anyway, but I mean, for that, it was an amazing support, as you know, Rangers have got the greatest support in Scotland, they've got the biggest football family in Scotland, uh, yeah. everybody over there, uh, I wouldn't say everybody, but a lot of them don't like us because we are so well liked all over go away, it's it's, it just seems to be one big party. We went to um, Las Vegas. Las Vegas amazing, absolutely amazing. You'll see that in another vlog, yeah. I'll put the link down below. Uh, Celtic had their uh, convention, convention yeah. that started the day after we left, actually the day we left, and I think they had maybe 300 turned up. Rangers had 1,300 there including a huge support from Ibrox, the chairman, the vice chairman, unbelievable. And that's what the Rangers family is all about, one big happy family. Exactly. Uh, unfortunately, other clubs in Scotland don't have that, they're, they're more bigoted than what we are. And uh, some of them just don't like us because uh, we used to sign English players and they didn't like it, so anyway, you know after this. Always remember, we are the people, and always will be. That's true. That is very, very true. All right. I have nothing to add to that. That's very well said. Anyway, we'll do some more stuff in the next one. We'll pick four or five items and let you see them and see what you think. Exactly. So we hope that you did enjoy this. If you have any cool memorabilia, feel free to send us a tweet. Um, his Twitter, which is right around here, is at airst. And then my Twitter, which is right around here, is at V-A-F-S-E-A-R-L-E. -E. Yours is so much easier than mine. Short and sweet, mine. Yeah, mine's a little longer. 
Mine's my name. But other than that, like we said, we hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have cool memorabilia, feel free to tweet us. And if you have any questions or you know anything about these different scarves that you want to mention, feel free to comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to see our next video. Yep. All right. Is that everything? Yes. That's everything. Okay. Right. See you soon. Bye. Bye.